Hi, my name's Tracy Connors. I'd like to welcome you to Get Creative with Tracy. This is day five of our seven day spiral uh, flower dye. So if you haven't checked out the videos, then please do have a look on my YouTube video and you will find days one through to four. So I've gone ahead and already cut out the spiral die. To see how to do that, just go back to day one. I'm going to be taking the tweezers. I've not spritzed it or anything. I really want this to have um, quite a firm grip. So all I'm going to do is literally curl this one as we've been doing with many of the other um, examples. And you can see that I'm not being particularly careful, you know. Um, just trying to keep the edge or the end together and going around and then I can just take the tweezers out. Now a lot of the time that you've seen beforehand I've um, tried to be quite careful when I let this go but this time I really want it to be loose so I'm literally just letting it go and letting it uncurl as much as it possibly can and if you just leave that for a little bit this is what you're going to get. So you've got a really beautiful, completely uncurled rose. So I think we use these three. So once you've done that, I really don't want to go in any closer than this. So taking my hot glue gun, I'm just going to put some onto the end and uh, just hold that into place. It will take a little while for that to hold. Okay. And I'm... Um, just peel off any of the little strands and then if you want to you can I've got to put the hot glue gun down you can just curl that one up if you want to or you can leave it flat it's entirely up to you it really depends on what kind of thing you're going to put onto the project so um, I think I might just curl up that little one and all I need to do to adhere that into place is put a little bit of um, hot glue onto the very very end and then just hold that into place and again you just want to hold that into place for a little while until that dries okay we're going to do the same for the others and what you see is that this time I've got um, an array of kind of colours so we've got um, Melon Mambo which is this really beautiful bright pink and then we've got Pool Party and we've got Very Vanilla. So these three colours are really kind of beautiful, spring kind of happy, summery type colours that, that you'll have. Again, just going to do the same with the Very Vanilla. Or Cat Candice because I'm doing it on the video, sorry. Okay, and then for this particular project, what we're going to do is we're going to just take a plain, ordinary, fairly cheap um, photo frame and I'm going to show you how we can really change it so that it looks pretty damn cool. So after looking at that, I probably want to um, put these sides in a little bit more. So again, just going to put in some hot glue just at the very ends and then I can curl those ones up. So that's what I said, you know, you really want to look at the the project that you happen to be doing and that will give you an indication of whether you want to keep it flat or whether you want to um, tuck those, those ends in just that little bit more. Cool, just making sure I hold that one in. Just need to pop a little bit more glue on the bottom. I find it easier to push down onto the work surface rather than hold it up as you've already seen from some of the um, <clears throat> other videos <laughs> I already injured myself with hot glue so you do need to be fairly careful okay just going to wrap that one up as well awesome and then with these ones, you just really want to play around with the composition until you're happy. Now you are going to squash these together, so if you've got any hot glue coming out of this end, then squash your flower into it and then you're not going to see that quite so well. <clears throat> so once you've decided how you want it to be, it's easy. You're just going to pop 
let's do the middle one first, pop your hot glue on the uh, bottom and then pop that into place. One of the other reasons I like hot glue is you do have a little bit of time uh, to manoeuvre and play with it to you know, manipulate the position. And then adding this one as well. And of course you could make this much more elaborate by putting in um, some ribbon. You can pop on some little um, buttons, some other embellishments, you know. You can make it <clears throat> as easy or as embellished as you want to. And that's it really. How easy and simple was that? But you've just taken a really plain photo frame and made it really quite pretty. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously if you've got a particular photo in mind, it'd be even better if you can then coordinate the colours as to the picture that you're putting into the frame. So there you go, that's day five. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're really enjoying the series and seeing all the different things that you can do with a spiral die. <clears throat> do pop back for day six, where we'll be showing you another project. And um, if you do want to purchase the die, then take a visit on my blog, which is at www.getcreativewithtracy.co.uk and just click on the basket. Okay, thanks very much then. Take care. Bye.